Hi friends, we're back for part two of decomposing the number eight. Remember, decomposing means you're going to break that number into two parts. So let's think of some of the ways you might have shown eight in two groups or parts. Let's see, I can move my magnets. If I move two to this side, how many will I have on the other side? Let me count and see. I have two here, and on this side, one, two, three, four, five, six. Eight is a group of two and a group of six. Hmm, but you might have had something different. I can change my groups and still have the number eight. Maybe I'm going to move these like this. Let's see how many are in each group now. Eight is the same as a group of one, two, three, four, and a group of one, two, three, four. So eight is four and four. I wonder if there's another way I can do it. Let's see. What if I move all these counters over here? How many are in my groups now? Eight is a group of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and a group of one. There are lots of different ways to make the number eight. Hmm, now that we've done this work, we can also record our work to show others what we're thinking. That means I could draw or write a picture or words to show ways to make eight. Just like when I said it, eight is the same as seven and one. I could draw a picture that shows that. I could do it like this. Three, four, five, six, seven. There's my first group. I'm gonna divide it with the line. And there's my group of one. Hmm, let me see if there's another way I could draw that. Let's see, another way I showed it was with a group of four and a group of four. Let me draw four over here and four over here. So I can draw pictures to show my thinking. We can also use words and numbers to show our thinking. Let's see, maybe this is the way you did it. Over here I had one. Oh, and I can use the sight word that I know. And this group has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One and seven is, that's another sight word we know. One and seven is eight. Sometimes in math, we also use symbols to represent words. Another way we can write this with numbers is to say two plus, this is a symbol that means and or put together. So two and one, two, three, four, five, six, two and six or two plus six equals or is Eight. Sometimes we see these symbols to represent words in math. When you look at the papers in your packet, you will see these symbols or number sentences to show your thinking. Now it's your turn. Look at the groups that you made with your objects and try to record your thinking using pictures, numbers, or words and symbols. Show it to someone at home and explain what it means.